briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1986, a tug of war over the legal drinking age brought the state of South Dakota and the federal government into a courtroom face off in what has now become a landmark constitutional case. At the heart of the dispute was an amendment Congress passed in 1984 as part of the Surface Transportation Assistance Act of 1982, which pushed all states to enforce a minimum drinking age of 21 or risk losing a fraction of their federal highway funds. The legal baton was in South Dakota's hands as it challenged this amendment. Contradicting Congress's stipulation, the state cited breach of its rights under the U.S. Constitution's 21st and 10th Amendments, which it believed granted clear authority over alcohol regulations within its borders. However, the federal government, standing on the grounds of the spending clause, made it clear that it had just as much stake in the game as the state, leveraging its mandate to address nationwide concerns like alcohol-related problems and drunk driving. A gavel came down in a lower court, ruling in favor of Congress's authority to condition federal highway funds to states on the adoption of a minimum drinking age of 21. Undeterred, South Dakota appealed the decision, maintaining its argument that the federal stricture was a violation of its rights. Digging into the matter, the appeals court found that there was no conflict between the federal statute and South Dakota's law. It established that while state law can trump federal law on the domain of alcohol regulation, this held true only when the two laws conflicted. Additionally, the state's ability to influence the minimum drinking age stemmed from its mandate over alcohol traffic, sale, manufacture, and consumption, not from the 21st Amendment. Without a solid conflict, the court declared that Congress was within its rights to condition funds on specific regulations. Siding with the lower court, the appellate court affirmed the dismissal of South Dakota's complaint. The ruling clarified and enshrined the power of Congress to condition the receipt of federal funds. South Dakota's argument that the law infringed upon the state's rights did not hold up, as it failed to show how this particular law forced the state to restructure its governmental system or impaired the state's integrity or ability to function effectively. The case effectively became a landmark decision, setting precedents on federal funding, state rights, and, much to the relief of parents nationwide, the drinking age. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.